Welcome to XAR template tutorial lesson number 39 and this XAR Web Designer 7 premium tutorial will be going over how to open existing templates within the XAR software and we'll also be going over how to change the color scheme of those different website templates and before I get started in this tutorial I want to just say that this video is being created because I had a request from a YouTube view viewer to make a video on how to do this so I, I'm reason I'm telling you that is because if you're watching this video if there's a specific area that you need help with just send me a message on YouTube saying hey I need help in this area could you please make a video on it to help me understand how to how to use that feature in the XR software and depending on the the complexity of that request uh, or that for that tutorial I might be able to make it right away or I may have to make it at a later date and if it is a very difficult tutorial to make I'll have to make it at a later date because I want to make sure that every viewer is able to follow along and I don't want it to be too difficult for them to do especially in the beginning but uh, depend again depending on the the complexity of the tutorial that you want uh, it may have to be made at a later date because I want to make sure that again that everybody is able to follow the tutorials and kind of take baby steps until we get to the complex stuff but nonetheless let's go ahead and get started on this tutorial uh, the first thing that you want to do is make sure that you have the XR web designer software open once you do have that open uh, do not open a blank new document you just want to have a black background with nothing in it like we do right now and I have my reasons for doing that and the reason for that is if you open up a blank new document and drag in a website template you will still have that blank uh, blank page for the first page always and I don't usually like that you, you can kinda do it however you want but in my case I prefer to just have it have it only bring in the website template itself with no blank pages so let's go ahead and, and go to our designs gallery over here in the right hand corner and I'm gonna lock this panel by clicking the the thumbtack in the upper right hand corner and once I do that what you should see and I'm gonna close all these folders because I had some folders open that's why it looked a little different but when you first open the designs gallery you should see a series of folders here and you're gonna look for the folder that says website themes and once you find the folder that says website themes it's about the fourth or fifth folder down you're gonna left click on that and when you left click on that folder it's gonna bring up a series of subfolders and these are all your templates for for websites within the XAR software and if you place your cursor over any of these folders you'll get a thumbnail preview to the right side of your screen for example if I place my cursor over the alpha theme immediately to the right you'll see that there is a thumbnail image and that's kind of your preview of what that website looks like and if you place your cursor over any of the other folders you'll be able to see the same thing happens but I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna click on the alpha theme template which should be your first uh, subfolder if you left click on that it will open up that folder and you'll see thumbnail previews of each of the pages that you have within that existing website template theme and you'll notice that your first thumbnail says the word website and what that means is if you drag in this particular thumbnail it's going to bring in a series of pages or another way to say it, it's going to bring in multiple pages to make a whole website whereas if you were to drag in this other one called header page it would only drag in one page which would be the preview that you see here for header page if you were to drag in page one this next one here it would only drag in page one so let me go ahead and show you what I mean let's go ahead and drag in page one into our workspace and let's go ahead and and close this designs gallery by clicking on the thumbtack and then let's go to page and layer gallery and you'll notice that we only have one page and by the way if this seems too quick for you make sure that you're watching all the other training videos before this because all the previous training videos will help you to understand how to do some of the things that we're already doing but again as I said you'll see that there is only one page which is the website page that we dragged into our workspace so let's go ahead and close this by clicking on the X uh, button for this particular tab and close that out and then let's go ahead and go back to our designs gallery and when you go back to the designs gallery it'll still have that same folder we had open 
and if it's not just follow the same steps that I just showed you previously but you should see the same uh, folder open in your designs gallery and I'm gonna go ahead and lock this panel again by clicking the upper in the upper right hand corner clicking on this thumbtack and locking that panel now let's go ahead and let's drag in this first thumbnail called website so let's go ahead and left click and drag it into your workspace and then let's go ahead and close this uh, designs gallery panel and then let's go ahead and go to page and layer gallery and lock that panel now once you have that panel locked you'll see that we have multiple pages like I said earlier so when you click on the website theme thumbnail and drag it into your workspace it creates multiple pages to make a full website so that's the main difference between the two you know the difference between dragging in the website folder is that it's going to allow you to have multiple pages to create a full website whereas if you drag in one of the header pages or page one two or three it's going to drag in only, only one page in and I'll show you that again in the designs gallery so let's go ahead and close the page and layer gallery by clicking on the thumbtack and then going to the designs gallery and I'll show you those pages I was talking about. Let's go ahead and lock the designs gallery again. And you'll see that again if you if you were to click this header page and drag it into your workspace, it's only going to bring in that one page. If you're to drag in page one, two, or three, like I mentioned just a moment ago, if you drag any of these pages in, it's only going to drag that one page in. It's not going to drag in multiple pages. So I hope that you can distinguish between those two things of what I just explained to you. So let's go ahead and and uh, now look at how to change the color scheme. Uh, that's something that I haven't showed you quite yet. If you scroll down while you're in the designs gallery, and you keep scrolling down all the way down. Keep going. I know it's a long way, but finally you'll get down to the part where it'll say color schemes, and you'll see your first color scheme, color scheme one. If you want to use that color scheme for green, color scheme two is kind of a brownish color. Color scheme three is kind of an orange color. So you can choose any of these color schemes that you see in here. In this case, I'm going to drag in color scheme number one. And you just simply click and drag it into your workspace. And just like before in previous tutorials, you'll see that curved arrow that's next to your regular cursor. That's just indicating that it's going to be dropped into your workspace. So go ahead and let go of your left click mouse button. And you'll see that it changes to green. And let's go ahead and close our designs gallery panel. And if you go to page and layer gallery, you'll see that all your pages are now in that particular color scheme. It's now green. And if you click on any of your additional pages, if you go to any page, you'll see that it's all in green. So that's how you change the color schemes for the website templates. So let's go ahead and uh, you know close this. Let's close the page and layer gallery for a moment and I'm going to close that out and now that we've closed that out let's go ahead and take a look at the color editor so let's go to the lower left hand corner of our screen and click on the color editor icon and that'll bring up your color editor and one of the things I, one of the things that I want to show you is that um, you can change that color scheme to whatever color you want you don't have to use the color schemes within the designs gallery so let's click on this drop down uh, menu here and let's go to theme color one and if you go to color theme one you'll notice that it changes the colors of this website template and it'll change to whatever color you set it to if you wanted to make it white you can make it white if you wanted to make it black you can make it a dark black you can make it any color that you want it to be simply by changing the theme color it's that simple so it's really nice to be able to change those colors and one of the other things I want to show you is that when we change those colors, those name colors, which are the colors beneath, beneath this div division line or divider line, when you change those colors, it reflects on every page. So let's go back to the page and layer gallery. And you'll notice, and I'm going to close this color editor out actually. Let's go back to the page and layer gallery, lock that panel. You'll see that all of the pages are now in red because we changed the theme color so each website template has a theme color that you can change 
that will change multiple uh, variations of colors all at once. So let's go ahead and go back to the color editor by going to the lower left hand corner, opening that up, and let's go back to the theme color and click on that. And if you change any of those colors, you'll see that it changes all of the colors in your sample. And if you look over at your page and layer gallery, you'll now see that it reflects the new color, which is green. So whatever color you change it to, it's going to change it in your page and layer gallery for every page because every page is inter inter interconnected to that theme color, the theme color one. And if you want to change your background color, you simply click on the background color like I did in your, in your color editor and you'll see that it changes the background color. Actually, I'm sorry, I clicked on the wrong one. Page background color is going to change the page background color. And as you can see, it now reflects those changes in your page and layer gallery, and it also reflects it in your workspace. So if we wanted to make that black, we can make it a dark black by going to the blacker part of the color editor. And you'll see that those changes are reflected on each of your pages. Now if you go to background color, that's the color that's behind your regular part of your page. And we can change that color as well. Maybe we want to make it a, a gray. So now you'll see that in this area of your screen, the background, we can kind of zoom out so you can see that a little bit more. If you go to your, uh, your zoom options up here, make it about a 50%. And now you'll see that the background color behind your page is what we're changing for the background color theme color. So I think that's pretty much everything that you need to know in regards to uh, opening a website template and also changing the color scheme. And if you have any questions, again, feel free to send me a message on YouTube. And also don't forget to subscribe, give us thumbs up if you enjoy this video. And you know, again, just make sure you're giving us feedback because that's gonna help us in making videos that are relevant and beneficial to you especially if you're running a business so don't feel afraid to send us a message because i do read through them and this video is proof of that because it would this video would not have been made if i had not got a request um, from a youtube viewer so thanks again for viewing this video and uh, i hope that you continue to enjoy our training tutorials have a great day